It's hard to believe it's less than four years since Rivian first showed off this, the R1T electric pickup. Honestly, I did kind of wonder whether this would end up in the vaporware category of new EVs, and you can't really blame me. Some of the things that Rivian were promising, well, they sounded pretty outlandish. Over 800 horsepower, over 900 pound per foot of torque, 1,100 pounds of towing capacity and over 300 miles of range from four electric motors and fully independent air suspension. And what I can say now is that fast forward to today and they're actually shipping these trucks to pre-order customers. And I've been out off-road in one and I can tell you that the Rivian R1T isn't just a real truck, it's a really, really good truck. In fact, all you can really critique is Rivian's timeliness. After all, originally it planned to deliver its pickup in late 2020. Nonetheless, it feels like the final EV has been worth the wait. Though its silhouette may be familiar, the R1T's detailing sets it apart on the road. There's a commendable restraint to the style. This is no characterless amorphous blob focused on the wind tunnel alone, but then neither is it a desperately stylized attempt to grab attention. From the front, the upright lamp clusters that intersect with a full-width light bar are the most dramatic element, lending the truck an unmistakable signature in your rearview mirror, even if they do look a little like overgrown eye teeth. The whole thing has a solid fluidity to it. At the rear, strong wheel arches combined with slightly tapering hips for a planted appearance, finished with another full-width light cluster. Those lights are functional beyond just driving too, glowing to indicate charge status when the truck's plugged in. Throw in the 20-inch wheels that come standard on the R1T launch edition, and the end result is modern without seeming over-exaggerated. It absolutely turns heads too. The bed is 54 inches long, holds about 29 cubic feet, and there's more than 14 cubic feet more in a lockable compartment underneath. You can fold the tailgate down to extend the bed up to almost 84 inches, and Rivian's higher trims have a power cover too. As well as the tie-downs you'd expect, there are two 120 volt outlets and an integrated air compressor. Up front, since there's no combustion engine, the HUD lifts to reveal another 11 cubic feet of storage, with LED lighting, a power outlet, and a drain plug to hose down the space below. Unique is the gear tunnel, running the full width of the truck. It holds another 11.6 cubic feet and is accessed by doors on both sides. Each door supports up to 300 pounds and has its own hidden storage compartment. Rivian is offering a camp kitchen option, inspired by DIY projects it saw overlanding enthusiasts undertake, and it's arguably the most charming part of the R1T experience. A dual induction cooktop and collapsible sink slides out, complete with a matching snow peak kitchen set, including everything from knives and forks through to a coffee grinder and charcuterie board. So, with almost 68 cubic feet inside and out, the R1T is definitely practical. It's also rewarding to drive. Each wheel has its own electric motor, there's independent air suspension and active damping, and an electro-hydraulic roll control system which Rivian benchmarked against a McLaren. Total system output is over 800 horsepower and over 900 pound-foot of torque, and because Rivian can control how much power each wheel gets, it can use true torque vectoring for a more sporting feel on asphalt and improve traction in the mud. The ride height can drop as low as 7.9 inches, or as high as 14.4 inches, for a huge 6.5 inches of total adjustment. Now a successful truck has to straddle two worlds. It needs to be capable on unreliable surfaces and in unpredictable conditions, whether that's the side of a mountain or on a job site. However, pickups are increasingly expected to hold their own against mainstream vehicles in comfort and refinement on regular roads. You'll find both conditions in Breckenridge, Colorado. Poised at the base of the Rocky Mountains 10 mile range, it turned out to be the perfect staging point for a morning of off-roading in the R1T. Rivian offers five drive modes. All purpose and sport are meant for the road, while conserve turns off the rear motors for maximum efficiency. Tow mode prioritizes stability when towing, and then finally there's off-road. Each mode supports multiple ride heights, adjustable suspension stiffness, and three levels of regenerative braking. Tank turn, where the R1T can spin on the spot, is still to be added, but the electric pickup didn't seem to need it. The combination of a nearly flat underbody, plus all that individual wheel articulation, along with instantaneous torque, makes navigating uneven terrain incredibly straightforward. There's a 34 degree approach angle, over 29 degree departure angle, and almost 26 degree breakover, and the R1T can ford nearly 43 inches of water. Throw in the 20 inch Pirelli Scorpion all-terrain tyres and you've got some serious grip too. It's the regen braking which makes the off-roading experience almost video game levels of easy though. I usually think of one-pedal EV driving as meant for urban settings, but it's even more convenient when trying to modulate speed as you're creeping over boulders or at dash-tilting angles. You don't need the hill descent mode some conventional trucks offer either, as you can do all that on the fly simply by adjusting the pressure of your right foot. Rivian doubles down on the video game feel with 360-degree cameras, including wheel-specific close-ups. They're useful since the slab-sided proportions mean there are some inevitable blind spots. All the same, it's hard not to conclude that electrification is probably the future of off-roading. 
beyond just how straightforward it is in an EV, there's an unexpected joy in surreptitiously moseying through the wilderness in near silence. No engine noise, no vibrations, just the crunch of the tyres and the uninterrupted sounds of the environment you set out to experience in the first place. Where similarly capable gas pickups can then struggle back on regular roads, the R1T's second surprise is how rapidly it changes personality when you switch to all-purpose or sport modes. The same air suspension which allowed for all that clambering hunkers down instead, with the trick roll control system employed to keep the truck level in corners. The R1T may be no lightweight, but with a 0-60 mile an hour time somewhere in the 3-4 second range, it's deceptively fast. You'll get the best speed with the 22-inch all-season performance tyre option, while the 21-inch all-season road tyres are focused on range. Maximum range is 314 miles according to the EPA. On the off-road rubber, the truck predicts that drops to about 270 miles, whereas with the bigger sport wheels, you can expect probably around 300, depending on how you drive. When it comes to charging, the 200 kilowatt DC fast charger port is behind a hidden cover, and Rivian has deals with third-party networks like ChargePoint and EVgo. That means their chargers show up in the R1T's navigation system, where you can filter by charger speed and availability. The Rivian network, meanwhile, will consist of the automaker's own chargers, focusing more on trailhead and adventure destinations. All that, plus Wi-Fi hotspot, Spotify and TuneIn streaming, over-the-air updates and more are delivered via the embedded 4G LTE connection. It also links the R1T with the Rivian app. In the cabin, a 16-inch touchscreen dominates, running Rivian's homegrown software. The interface is clean and sleek, organised into tabs for the main sections, and with shortcuts for the most common comfort features along the bottom. Physical controls are kept to a minimum, even directing the air vents is done by dragging icons around the screen. The driver gets a second display with key information, and a few simple clusters of controls on each spoke of the steering wheel. Those in the back get a smaller touchscreen to control their own comfort settings. Conspicuous by their absence, though, are Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. While there may be six USB-C ports and a wireless charging pad that can simultaneously recharge two devices at once, plugging in your iPhone or Android won't get you their respective projection system. What is coming is embedded Amazon Alexa, with support for controlling multimedia, asking questions, searching for destinations, and querying things like battery and charge status by voice. That'll be added using the over-the-air update system, which Rivian will also use to tweak its Driver Plus system. That's level two driver assistance, combining adaptive cruise control and lane keeping. There are capacitive sensors in the steering wheel and a driver attention camera above the rearview mirror to make sure you're watching the road. Stop that and the R1T will chime to remind you that you're still responsible for driving. Still, piloting your own R1T is no hardship. The cabin blends ruggedness with luxury and attention to detail, and honestly I'd take this over any trim of pickup from Ford, GM or Ram. It's modern without feeling obnoxiously so, and the ashwood trim, vegan leather, recycled microfiber and washable floor mats look and feel great. Rivian's found room for some playful features too. The camp speaker is a rechargeable Bluetooth speaker, with built-in mood lighting, and it docks under the centre armrest. There's a flashlight which pops out of the driver's door, where it's kept topped up from the R1T's own battery. The 18-speaker 1200-watt Meridian audio system punches well above what most pickups offer too. It's standard on the sold-out R1T launch edition that's priced from $73,000 before incentives, and on the near-identical R1T adventure trim which will ship from January next year. At the same time, Rivian will begin shipping the R1T Explore trim, priced from $67,500 before incentives. That has a manual bed cover, loses the seat heating and ventilation, and gets a less impressive audio system. Now, Rivian has a long reservations list right now. In fact, arguably the most disappointing part of the whole EV is that if you put in your order today, you'll likely be waiting until mid to late 2022 before you get your truck. Rivian could have taken a relatively easy path with the R1T, made itself a great pickup and settled for average elsewhere. Truck drivers are, after all, more than willing to accommodate mediocre on-road manners for a vehicle that delivers off the asphalt. The R1T's refusal to compromise on either condition not only goes above and beyond what many of its more established rivals are offering, it foreshadows just how impressive the fast-approaching R1S will be in the fiendishly competitive SUV segment. What stands out the most, though, is how compelling an all-rounder the R1T is. This doesn't look, drive, or feel like the first attempt from a brand new automaker, and the sticker price, particularly after the $7,500 federal tax incentive for EVs, is astonishingly aggressive. At the same time, Rivian's clear focus doesn't mean the company has done the bare minimum. Extras like the camp kitchen are evidence of that. Novelties, sure, but ones which betray a deep understanding and appreciation of the target audience here. This doesn't feel like a minimum viable product, but rather a thoughtful reconsideration of just what can be achieved when you don't have a traditional combustion platform to work around. 
The 2022 Rivian R1T may be the first of many all-electric trucks we're expecting over the next few years, but already it's setting an impressively high bar by which those that follow will be judged.